Hey guys, Roby here with the Divi Engine team. Today, I've got another awesome Divi tutorial for you. We're going to be utilizing Particle.js to turn this okay looking landing page into a snowy wonderland using the power of Particle.js. We're going to look at a couple places you can place the code for this. We'll look at what Particle.js is, we'll set it up, and then we'll fire it off. So strap in, get ready, we're going to get into it right now. Okay, so you might be scratching your head and asking, what the heck is Particle.js? Well, Particle.js is this lightweight JavaScript library that's free for you to use, and it basically just creates these crazy particles on the screen, and you can do all sorts of crazy things with it. I kind of customized this one to be branded with the Divi Engine colors and logo, and it's repelling these triangles. Um, we're going to be using it to create a snowfall effect, but they, if, when you click through this, you can see a few different effects that you can create. It's really awesome, the type of stuff that you can do. You can create these bubbles that float around. And, you know, your imagination is kind of the limit here. But like I said, we're going to use it to turn this page into this snowy wonderland. So let's get ready and start setting this up in the next step. Okay, so let's start setting this up. To do that, I'm going to go to the front end of my site here and click on the Edit Page button. Now you can do this on any page that you have. You just need to follow the steps that I'm gonna add right here. You're gonna scroll down to the bottom of the page and you're gonna add a new section. You're gonna select the regular section and then we'll add a single column row as well. The module that we'll put in there is just the code module. We won't add any code right now. We'll get back to that in a second. Now, what we wanna do is we wanna go into the section settings because we need to change the size of the section because what we'll end up doing is we're going to move this section with the code and some of the absolute positioning settings within Divi to place it over the existing site in a fixed position. So first we need to make sure that it covers the screen. So we're going to go to design. We'll go to settings. Sizing, sorry. And then we're going to set the width to 100%. Oops. Okay. And then the next thing that we need to do is we need to go to the height and we'll set that also to 100%. Now we're going to go to spacing because we want to remove any padding that might be at the top or the bottom of the page. So we'll set margin to zero and padding to zero. Top and bottom, we link them up like we did so. And then we head to the advanced tab. Here we need to assign a class which JavaScript will be looking at for where to place the snow effect with particle JS. Now, we're actually just going to use an ID here, and we'll add de-snow-effect. And that'll be the CSS ID that the JavaScript will listen for as to where to position this. Now, as far as where the section goes, we're going to use the position options here in the Advanced tab. And then we're going to go ahead and select the fixed option. And we'll select the center, top center. So that will be that. And we'll need to offset this a little bit just to make sure that there's not an abrupt start at the top of the page, you know, where the snowfall comes in. So we'll just put that at negative 75. And basically, that will just um, make it start off canvas. So it's just a better way to position it. We'll go ahead and also put a Z index of 1000 so that it lays above the other items on the screen. You don't want things like modules being, you know, the snowflakes going behind it or whatever. This is just good practice and it just makes the effect pop a little more. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that. And that is pretty much the setup. Now, if I update this, we can go to the front end again. There we go, click on view page. And all it has is this blank section over here. And I will tell you in one second why that is. Now to remove that, we just go back to the back end of our page here. It'll load on up. And what we need to do is we need to make this color transparent for the background. You see here that it's got the white color. We select transparent, click that button and update it. And let's look at the front end. And there you see that it has all disappeared now and you don't have that any longer. So that is good stuff. So let's go back to the back end now. And then in the next step, we'll be adding the code. Okay, so now that we've got it all set up, it's time to add the code to make this particle JS snow effect work with Divi. What we need to do is go again to the back end of our page here. We're gonna scroll down to that code module that we left empty earlier and just get into the settings. 
And then now this will be linked in the description of the video, or you can just go to the blog post if you're watching it there. The code will be embedded on that page. Now, I mentioned before that there's two places you can add this code, depending on how often you'll be using it throughout your site. My thought is that I'll be using it on one page, the landing page, because it might get a little overwhelming and distracting for our visitors if it's throughout the entire site. Now, to put it just on the one page, I'll just add the code module as I've done here. Now, the other method to do that is if you went into the back end of your Divi install and you just go to Divi and then theme options and scroll down or actually go to the integration tab, you will be pasting the code right here in the head of your site. Now, then all you would need to do is have that module that we created here, the section that I have here, and you'll just put it on the various pages. So maybe you'll just save it to your library and you'll add that to the pages where you want it. Now, the reason we do it this way is that way the JavaScript only gets added once throughout the entire site. So you don't have to keep doing it. You would, of, of course, need to delete the code from this section here, but that would still work throughout the rest of your site. So it's a good way to save some resources if you don't want your site running slow or loading slowly. But again, like I said, I'm using the method for one page only. So I'm gonna be pasting my code right here in this box. Now I have my code prepared here in um, GitHub and I'm just gonna go ahead and copy all the code right here. And then I'll hop back over here to the back end of the site. Now, because this is JavaScript, I need to tell it that we're gonna be putting it in between script tags so it knows to read JavaScript instead of maybe something like CSS or HTML. I'll paste my code in there and here we'll see everything is in here. Here's that um, CSS ID that we created earlier for DE snow effect that's applied to this section right here. Okay, so let's save this and see what happens and view the page. And there we have it. We've got within what, 10, maybe five minutes that we've created this awesome snow effect, festive atmosphere on the landing page for your site or any other page that you'd like to have it. Now, in the next step, we're gonna tighten up some of the details and I'll quickly cover one pitfall you might run into and how to fix it. So just stick with me, we're almost done. Okay, so I just mentioned that there might be a pitfall you run into and that's why we take care of the details here. I'm gonna go to the back end of the site and let's say I wanted to add a cool button down here. I don't know, maybe says see holiday events or something like that at the bottom of this section here. How would I do that? And what's gonna happen because of this JavaScript I added to the page? So let's pop in here and edit the page. And then I am just gonna make this visual boulder active on the back end and the Divi double load, which happens sometimes is fantastic. And I'm just gonna edit this module that I have here, actually, let me go back here and let me just edit the module. I'm gonna go ahead and add a button that says see more for testing purposes and I'll just add a hash. So it's got a link in there, otherwise the button will not display. And we click update really quick. And now we're gonna see this thing that happens with this extra JavaScript and I'll tell you why it happens. So I've got my button here, but you see when I hover, Nothing happens, I can't click on it. It's just like it doesn't even exist. It's because of the way that we position this extra section. So let's pop in in the back end. And what's happening, we added a fixed location for this section that we added in. Now what it's doing is putting it above everything else. And we need to add a little line of code that makes the pointer not do anything when it's on there. Otherwise it gets trapped in that section. And all we do is we go over here and add the code in the advanced tab of this, the section settings. We go to custom CSS and main element right here. I'm gonna type pointer dash events colon none and a semicolon. I'm gonna save that and update the page. And what that does is gonna tell the mouse not to do anything within that section. And it'll just kind of create a free flow to the bottom page. So let's look at the front. Now, when I hover, you see it is active. When it clicks, you see it kind of does that jerk that it's because I got that hash in there. But that is how you avoid this issue. So if you have a bunch of interactive elements on your page, it's a good idea to have that in there so that you can let the user interact with your site. 
Okay guys, and that's it. You've done it. You've added snow to your page. You've made sure that users are still able to interact with your site. You learned a little bit more about where to place different snippets of code depending on how it's being used. And you learned about Particle JS, which is an awesome library that allows you to create these crazy particle effects on the screen. And you can do all sorts of cool stuff with it. You should definitely go check it out. I'll put a link to Particle JS in the description of this video and in the blog post as well. Now guys, I hope you found this super informative and it helps you out to create some cool stuff. Again, this is Roby with the Divi Engine team. I'm gonna check you guys in the next video. <laughs>